For the first time in several years, this celestial sensation is set to dazzle onlookers coast to coast. So this is where you're going to be watching. Mike Shanahan and the Liberty Science Center are gearing up to welcome guests for tonight's total lunar eclipse when Earth moves directly between the sun and moon, blocking most light. On the left is a regular full moon, and then we see the partial phase happening as more and more of the moon disappears into the shadow of the Earth. Then we go into the reddish colored total phase. That distinct color inspiring the nickname Blood Moon. It's such a striking, beautiful sight that I, I don't think anyone who sees a lunar eclipse for the first time ever forgets their first encounter with an eclipse. Weather dependent, visible portions of the eclipse will run for about three and a half hours. But the best moment to catch the moon shining scarlet will be during totality from 2.26 a.m. Eastern time through 3.31. They're on spring break right now, so maybe we'll wake them up to see it. Unlike solar eclipses, where all eyes are on the disappearing sun, a lunar eclipse is safe to look at without protective eye gear. Perhaps the most important tool for spotting tonight's glowing red sphere, an alarm clock, or risk waiting until 2029 for your next chance. It's worth waking up for. Absolutely worth waking up for. Emily Iketa, NBC News, Jersey City, New Jersey. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.